Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Pookie, coming to you with another DIY video. In this video, you will be seeing me make my vegetarian burrito tacos. I'm using blue oyster mushrooms as the quote unquote meat for these tacos. And y'all, I make this all the time. I love these tacos. So I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. So if you ever get the time or wanna try this out, I would highly suggest it. But hope you guys enjoy this video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is rehydrate your peppers. Um, so here I have some arbol chilies, uh, some New Mexico chili pods, and some, uh, oh Lord, guajillo, guajillo. Don't, don't quote me. <laughs> uh, chilies, and um, one day I had went to the store and they didn't have any more of these, so I picked up some other ones. And I don't know, I forgot the name of this chili, but I only got one left, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this just to use it. But yeah, the first thing you wanna do is rehydrate your chilies, and I'm gonna use three of these. Excuse my fingernails. I should have been said it. I'm so I, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I do apologize. I'm so sorry. Okay. My fingernails look horrible. I can't believe I'm making this video with my fingernails looking like this. But anyways. Three of the V. And you only need two of these, but I'm gonna use one since I'm using um this this pepper right here, this mystery pepper. I forgot what the name of it is, but but usually if you don't of course, you won't have that, but use two of these peppers. All right. so. I'm going to take all the seeds out as many as I can. That one kind of broke up, but it's okay. All right, once you remove all the seeds out of the peppers, you can put them in some water for them to rehydrate for 30 minutes. All right, so while the peppers are rehydrating, this is for the, the consomme. Um, I got some garlic and some onion. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them up and put them in this pan to put in the oven.
All right, so you want to use around like, I guess five or six cloves of garlic. I mean, this one was a little bonus one. It was <laughs> attached to a bigger one. So anyways, and drizzle this with oil and put it in the oven on broil for 25 minutes. So while the peppers are rehydrating, um, this can be in the oven at the same time. So while the peppers are rehydrating, you're gonna shred your mushrooms up. And this takes the longest, so I got these from Whole Foods. And they are eight ounces blue oyster mushroom. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and shred these up. All right, once this, uh, the mushrooms are shredded down, this took me about like a good 20 minutes to shred all uh, the one pound of mushrooms. So yeah, this takes a little second to do. But I'm gonna go ahead and add in two tablespoons of oil. Two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. two teaspoons of garlic powder and one teaspoon of salt. Mix that up. I'm gonna use my hands. Get mixed up. I'm the only one eating these tacos just in case somebody might feel some type of way. Oh yeah, mix this up really good. All right, once this is mixed up very well, I'm gonna let this marinate for an hour. All right, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for an hour. Alright, so the onions and the garlic have been in the oven. I, I did it for like 20 minutes. I had checked on them and they had got a little dark real fast, so I didn't want them to burn. So I took them out of the oven about around 20 minutes. So now we're just going to blend up the sauce, the consomme sauce. Alright, so I'm going to need two cups of stock. I'm using vegetable broth this time. Um, before I've used chicken. So I'm not sure how, you know, this is, what difference is gonna make, but I'm gonna rely on the blender's measurements here and put in two cups. The 
peppers and whatever um like seeds I miss, they kind of they come out in the water. So, but if any, you know, just gets in there, it's okay. And right here I have uh, two, I mean one tablespoon of the chicken bouillon season. A teaspoon of oregano. Half a teaspoon of pepper. A teaspoon, I mean a tablespoon, I mean I said it right the first time, one teaspoon. <laughs> of chili powder, a teaspoon of cumin, and two, two tablespoons of oil. Oh, can't forget about the three cloves. And blend all that together. Three bay leaves. And I'm gonna let this come to a boil. And let this, once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn down the temperature and let it simmer for about uh, an hour before I start making the tacos. It is boiling now. So, I'm gonna turn down the heat and let this simmer for uh, on low for an hour. So the point is, um, or where the point we should be at is the mushrooms should be marinating for an hour and this should be simmering for an hour. So by the time they both are done, um, oh, by the time that hour is over with, you should be able to make your tacos. Okay, to cook the mushrooms, you wanna add a little bit of oil to your pan and cook them down for about 10 to 15 minutes. So after the 10 to 15 minutes, you wanna add about one to two cups of the consomme sauce into the mushrooms, and then cook it for an additional, about 10 to 15 minutes.
All right, so my mushrooms are done. So the last and final thing to do is to make the tacos. All right, so I did forget to start the camera when I dipped the tortillas in the sauce the first time, but you'll see me do it here again after I get finished making these tacos. All right, and I will add that that was my first time using that flat pan thing. I went and bought that at the store and I bought all those metal utensils. And um, after using it, I would suggest, no. <laughs> um, that metal scratches up the, the pan. And so it was just, it was, it was trial and error, but I got it together. So yeah, I take the tortilla and I dip it straight into that consomme sauce. And then I add my cheese, onions, cilantro, and the oyster mushrooms to it. You fold it up and flip it on both sides. Make sure the cheese is melted and then you're good to go. And yeah, I was struggling a little bit with that pan. Like I said, it was my first time using that pan and I, probably my last time using that pan. All right, so here are my Berea, vegetarian Berea tacos. They turned out great. And um, I also strained my consomme, but that is totally optional. That is up to you guys. But they turned out great and they look so good. And I really, really enjoyed them. I was like really going in, like I plays no games <laughs> um, with these tacos. But this is the end of the video, you guys. I really hope you try this recipe out. But um, until next time, peace. <laughs>